Hey, Danny, guess what round two is doing? What is it, Trevor? What's it to do with round two? They've announced that they're re-releasing the 1963 Ford pickup truck, I guess to go along with the 1960 that I did the other sneak peek video on a little while ago. So, Danny, let's go down to the bench and I'll let you take a look at the instructions. And then, after that, we're going to look at some of the parts that I have left over from this original kit that a customer gave me a long time ago. And then we're going to take a look at the brand new sneak peek from round two. Now this picture that I'm going to show you at the end of the video is actually from one of the, uh, one of the shows that they're doing right now. And somebody on Facebook land took a picture of it and I got the picture. So, without further ado, Danny, are you ready? Let's go to the bench. This is Danny the dog in the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage newsroom with the greatest and latest of all things that are going to be coming up from round two in the near future. So what we have right here is the AMT 1963 Ford F100 pickup truck. And you can see all the amazing features here. You get stock, custom, service, and you even get that really cool little go-kart streamliner right down there. So now we're not too sure exactly what's going to be in the new model. So these instructions are from the original from way back when. So what we're going to do, Trevor and I, we're going to show you what we have. And then we're going to show you that really cool picture at the end of what round two has announced. And then... Trevor's going to show you what parts we have left from this original issue kit that a customer gave us many, many, many years ago. So without further delay and without me flapping my doggy gums, let's take a look at these instructions. So to begin with, we have our basic assembly and this is our engine right here. And what we look at is a two-piece engine block right and left hand side with the transmission which we can't see because the intake and cylinder head manifold here is covering up the back end. But it does look like you get your stock Ford valve covers which glue on here, as well as your exhaust manifolds and tricarbs up top. And here is your belts and pulleys, your alternator and the fan. Now you can also build this engine as a custom and check this thing out. This is really cool. Again, you get your right and left hand side engine block and then you get your intake manifold and cylinder heads the stock valve covers again, and the exhaust manifolds. But now, now we get into the cool part, because this is a blower drive on here, and this goes onto this really cool serpentine-style fan belt arrangement with the alternator down below. Now check that out. This is like right out of the, uh, the Ford Thunderbird for 57 almost. And there you've got the, the hose extension. You've got this pressure box up here in two pieces. There's also an air cleaner and the carburetor up here on the back of the blower. So again, this is a really cool powerhouse motor. I could see it finding its way into many other model kits. How about you guys? Would you add this into something else? Like maybe a, a 32 Ford or something? That would be really cool. Let us know in the comment section down below. Next up, we have this really cool interior. Now this again is a one-piece tub with a bench seat molded in the back, as well as the floor pedals. You can add in a gear shifter, there's a fire extinguisher, there's also the accessory gauges here. Now these are for more of a custom truck. There's your dashboard, you got a rear view mirror up top, you also have a tachometer and the steering column and the custom steering wheel cover. Now this, of course, is all the custom components there, there, and the fire extinguisher. There's also the stock steering wheel assembly, which goes in the same hole there underneath the dashboard. Now here you get a cat. This is a cat from AMT. Um, maybe I should bark at it and chase it, but I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, the other thing that's really cool is this telephone. Isn't that a cool item, Trevor? Yeah, it sure is, Danny. I actually hope this thing comes out because I want that telephone. This would be really good in that 1920s garage diorama that I want to build because this is period correct for that. Oh yeah, that would be cool. That's got a real wow factor to it. Oh man, I can't wait to see that diorama if you ever get around to building it. But you never really build anything. Come on, Danny. I'm doing the best I can with that. I mean, after all, I got this 50 Ford done recently as well as this 64 Mercury. Come on, what else do you want? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, okay. All right, let's check out what's coming up next. Next up, we have the wheel assembly. 
and here it shows the engine going down to the chassis. Now the chassis seems to be a one-piece arrangement again with the mufflers molded in place and the cross members and all that. There are the lowering blocks you can add in here. You have your inside wheel half, you've got the tire, the outside wheel half, and then an open wheel and a bullet which goes right in the dead center. Now this harkens back to the early days of customizing when they didn't have mag wheels. So I don't know if AMT is going to add in some mags, you know, they usually do that kind of thing to upgrade the kits, but who knows. Well, there's also an upper radiator hose for authenticity. Now just below the wheel assembly, we have the body assembly. And much like the 60 Ford pickup truck, we can see the bottom of the floor being glued in. So this is a one piece body with a truck bed as well, which is pretty unique. There's our assembled interior. There's also these custom headrest cushions, which you can glue up onto the roof. We do have a clear window and we've got the hood. And there again is that metal clip. Now I don't think AMT is going to reintroduce the metal clips into these anytime soon, but that's just showing how it originally was. So you could open up the hood and the metal clip would flex with the opening hood. Now here we've got the firewall being glued in, as well as the radiator, the battery, and the horn. So again, lots of detail under the hood for such a vintage model kit. Next up we have the final stock assembly, and like you can see here, there's the one-piece body. Now the hood is separate, as we saw in the earlier one. We've got the hood emblems right there, as well as the front grille and the license plate. Now you attach this with the metal screws, so hopefully AMT will use these screws again, like they did with the Oldsmobile kit, the 64 that Trevor did a little while ago. If you want to see that video, just click up here. Okay, anyway, getting back to it, we've got our stock taillights going in, as well as the rear bumper and the license plate there. Next up, we have the final service assembly, and here we have the air horns and the side mirrors, the hood emblem, there is the bezels here as well, we've got a dome light with a flasher, and oh, these are running lights with the bezels, and uh, oh, they go on the side of the cab, that's interesting. We also have the front grille and bumper, which is a stock version, the push bumper, the rear bumper with the license plate and the stock taillights. Now we have get the uh, gas cans. These almost look like they're right out of the 63 Chevy kit that just came out, the station wagon. Got the gas can top and bottoms, spare battery, the torque wrench, and the lug wrench. What do you think of this one, Trevor? Well, Danny, this is the way I would like to build this as a service truck. I really think this is cool, and I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what round two might have for, like, door decals and names and everything. I'm sure this will be really cool. Yeah, I think so, too. So let's take a look at the final custom assembly. Now here, AMT has given so many parts back in the day that we're going to have to take a look at the back of this truck as a separate bit in just a moment. So look at all this stuff here. You got a tonneau cover which goes over top, hydraulic lifts, knockoff gas cap, gas filler tube, you've got rear window fillers, you've got a roof scoop, a hood scoop, looks like an extra aerial going on up here. They don't really mention it though. You got a license plate, you got a rolled pan, you got nerf bars, you've got this custom grill with separate headlights. Here's a different style of custom grill with headlights. They call it grill A, grill B, and grill C is a tooth grill with floating headlamps like the Chrysler. This almost reminds me of like the earlier 50s type of Ford grills. So there's our chassis going up into the body. Again, you got the screws and then you've also got these really cool side pipes. Now you could also mount these going straight up and down. Uh, sort of like one of those trucks from the later days, you know? Now check out the back of this truck. Wow, this is really cool. Look at these fins you get to glue on the top. There's also a tailgate filler if you don't want the Ford letters on there. And it looks like it's got a sunken in area for the license plate to glue in. They do suggest using the stock taillights there. Look at this rear rolled pan. There's also these cool taillight bezels here, the custom taillights down below, Nerf bars, and a club plaque to show off which car club you belong to. Now the original instruction sheet gives these general instructions for filling sanding, and if Trevor moves this over here for a minute, and painting. Now what we're wondering is if these instructions will be reprinted in the new car or not. But at any rate, this gives you ideas for adding on those custom rolled pans and just how to slicken them up so they look like a one-piece piece. 
So one of the added bonus features in the original kit was the go-kart, and hopefully, hopefully round two will put that in this kit as well. This looks like the exact same one as in the 60s Chevy kit. So you've got your pan here, and the Nerf bars, and the small tires, and the retainers for that. But this one has the taller wheels in the back. And that's a little bit different, because the 61, or pardon me, the one that comes in the 60 Chevy has wider wheels. But what makes this really cool is actually the two-piece streamliner body halves with the canopy gluing on the top. Here we also have the racks which go into the back of the truck bed and this pit board so you know which, uh, well, you know what they use in the pits for racing. You put the number on there for how many laps are left and that kind of thing. But overall, this is really cool and I hope that comes back. Okay, Trevor, that's my part of the show done. So now we want to see what the plastic parts look like. Show the folks at home. Okay, Danny, here's what we have for the original parts. Now, unfortunately, I wish I had a full model, but it's been lost to time. However, these remain. So we've got the hood, which somebody painted green. Then we have the front bumper, the rear bumper. This, I do believe it's a roll pan for this kit, because it does sort of match the width of the front bumper, the stock front bumper. And this is grill A. And then here we've got the two-piece go-kart streamliner body. This thing is really cool. So let's move these parts out of the way for a minute and focus on one at a time. So here we've got the hood and it's got that nice sunken and dented area in there, which is really cool. There's also part of the molding going up along here, which will be really nice to use your bare metal foil on. Now underneath here is the hood. You can see we've got some mold marks and issues. So there's like four holes in these indents. But again, you could always remove this with your number 16 hobby blade. Now, I do believe these pegs at one point in time, they might have had a rubber band around them. So when you opened up the hood, it worked off the rubber band. But really what we have here that's most of most significance is a little peg for the hook, for that uh, metal hook that AMT used to give you with these kits. So again, this is a really cool little part from the past. Here we have our front grill, and this is really nice. You've got the uh, turn signal lamps up there. You also have the headlights molded as one piece. Now it's hard to say if AMT is going to open these up for lenses or not. But the nice thing about the chrome ones is they are aligned perfectly, so you, you can't actually argue against that. There's also the details here where this would bolt onto the front car or front of the truck, pardon me, the bumper bolts. I'm really excited for this. Are you guys excited? Let's hear a big yay! And if you are, that's really good because I'm hoping to bring this model in once uh, we find out when the release dates are. Now, it also has the brackets in here for going through on the chassis and mounting in. Uh, your screws are going to go through here, of course, up into the posts, which are above. So that will really lock this in place perfectly. Now let's take a look at the rear bumper. So there it is there. And it's got the license plate up top for 63, which, of course, you can always scrape the letters off and put on your own license plate. And if you want to check out how to do license plates, check out this video scrolling across here. Again, you can see the holes. This one needs to be opened up. Quite a bit of flash but that's okay. But yeah, so that's our rear bumper. There's our little rolled pan. <laughs> Not too much going on there, except for a couple of mold marks in the back, which need to be scraped. So this is what I mean. I think that's correct. You can see the width of the bumper and all that. So that brings us to our custom grill, which again looks really neat. Almost like a Ford Galaxy of the time period, isn't it? 63 Galaxy with the bar in the middle and the headlights out the sides. And again, there's some three mold marks off the back. You can see the mounting points on here, which need to be cleaned up. But overall, again, really nicely done. And now for that two-piece body. This is really nice. We've got all the little rivets going up around here to hold in the window. And then you've got a bunch of little open spots for the exhaust to stick straight out of. You know, I like the little fender flares up on there. And then down below, this is where the wheels would fit in. So really, I can't use this on the other go-kart. I need narrow tires. And it opens up like a clamshell, so this is where it's all going to mount in with the, uh, the go-kart frame and whatnot. 
and then out the back oh I didn't notice this these are also open right around here for air intake so again really excellent stuff and I'm looking forward to them AMT that is bringing this out again now again I don't know if that streamliner is going to be part of this thing or what the deal is with it but overall I mean this is something I really can't wait for and now without further ado Let's see the new image from round two. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to check out the model cars we have for sale, don't forget to check it out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And while you're there, why not sign up for the Monster Hobbies newsletter? Because if you do, every single week on Thursday, there is a brand new flyer that you get through your email that has great deals on all the items in the store. They're selected items, of course. But at any rate, it's a pretty good deal. There's also selected categories as well. So for instance, if I want to do a sale on model cars, that's a category. So with that category, you might get some great savings for that week. And every week I try to change it so there's brand new stuff so you can see all of Monster Hobbies, which is a really, really big store. So if you love these videos as well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. How much does it cost to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Zero! It's absolutely free! There's just a button down below there, below my video somewhere, that says subscribe. And you just click on it, and you click the little notification bell, so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. So I really hope you enjoyed that look at what's coming up from round two of the 1963 Ford pickup. Whew, can't wait, can't wait to bring that into the store as well. And if I bring that into the store, wouldn't it be great if you got that newsletter and you saw that it was now available? and maybe even at a discount in the future. So anyway, remember to subscribe to the newsletter, which again is absolutely free. And until next time, everybody, we will see you in the next video and happy model building.